So guys, I'm back again and I am doing the pouring this hexagon. Um, I got this from Let's Resin and I have mixed my resin. I am using as usual Jediction resin. This one is four hour demolding resin. So you can demold in just over four hours. I normally do like wait for six hours. But if you have a constant temperature or 20 degrees Celsius, you will be able to demold it. Um, what I'm doing, I'm doing first layer and I'm trying to do something on different on this one. I won't reveal yet, <laughs> but all I've done, I have mixed uh, TLP, this little piggy pigment on this one, it's a galaxy. It's got quite sparkly mica powder. So that's going as base. So first I'm pouring base. I mix only 50, um, not 15, sorry, 100 ml on this one. So... I just want to do the the bottom layer, that's all I'm doing for this one. I won't fill up all the way up, I'll, I'll see how it goes and then I'll, um, I'll once, once it's done I will know what, uh, how much resin I will need. So I won't, but I assume it won't be all the way up. Because it's not like rose or anything I'm preserving in this one. So yeah, 100 ml is enough. For the base I don't. Just going to want to get whatever I got there. I just want to use the old resin. Don't want to get it waste any. As you can see, it has color fully at the bottom. Just a tiny bit, I just need to push. That's it. Well, the rest of it is fully covered. I still got a little bit resin left here, but. So the first layer is done. And once this dry, I will go for my next layer. And as I go, I will reveal. White down on this one. <laughs> Come on, drop. So yeah. So that's it, and we do next step tomorrow. So this has dry. What I'm doing now? I'm just going to put the thin layer of some glitters. Um, and I am going, I'm using the same resin, Tear Addiction. Um, the, so I already mixed it. I got 50 ml here because I want thin layer. I don't want to um, thick because I still want to see the background at the back. So I'll be using less glitter in this. I'm using this glitter. It's beautiful white iridescent glitter. I got it from Amazon, um, AliExpress, sorry. So I'm just putting one spoon right now and see how it goes. Okay, that looks all right. So, and I'm going to put a little bit of this iridans fine glitter it's white iridans they are very fine glitter the other one is chunky very chunky okay that looks okay so now i'm going to pull this because it's thin layer 
still want to see the background of the, the galaxy at the back. Spread it over. That looks beautiful, <laughs> sparkling. It's turned out all the way I want it to be honest. So once this is dry, I will start doing my next step. So that's it for today. Just one more drop, maybe done. So that's it. And we do the next step tomorrow once it's dry. So I'm back again here uh, next day. So what I'm doing on this one now, I'm going to start putting whatever I want inside. So what uh, I want to go for the wild theme for this one. So I got this one like a piece of grass. It, it grows on the top of grass. It's dry. I just pick it up from my garden. And, and I don't need to dry it because they're already dry and I have placed them the way I want like this this one just moves so I'll put it back in here again so I just wanted them like this I might put some uh, um, dandelion um, um, the seeds from the top uh, I want to put some butterfly as well, either sticker or the orig um, the plastic one I'll go with. And this one I got, I went in a while yesterday to pick those. So I got them as well, which will be going in uh, once the first layer done. So it's doing like a several layers. So now if my resin is mixed, I'm just using the same J Diction resin. And I'm not I'm not going for um deep pour because I'm doing in a layer so I don't need to do deep pour takes long. Uh, so just going like this. I will move them once I finish pouring my resin. Because I want to give the 3D dimension, that's why I'm just going like layers. So what I do this one because move. So I just want just right there, just touching that bit there. And this one can go down, yeah, perfect. I just, just need to leave this separate from the other one. And then go down, yeah. Uh, that's it. So too close. <laughs> Just 
the this one seems done so um, I'll put the other flower on the top of it as well so it can just start I won't push it down I'll just leave on the top so it can stick there so let's swap for this one first and just go right there just like like this I want it to face this way yeah perfect doesn't matter if it doesn't touch because it will be in a is it too high oh, this one is moved again so I'm just going to move this And go just like this. Just going for the different length. That's enough now. So yeah, I'll let it dry and then I do my another layer and I put some flowers, I'll probably put some uh, buttercups, the press flower there and the butterfly will go on the top. So that's all I'll probably do now. So let's see how it dries and then I'll do the next step tomorrow or maybe in like um, five six hours it'll be sticky that time so stay tuned so it has been six hours so it has set these things I'm going for another layer I'm using the same resin and it's mixed it's going to add them probably Put the butter butternut on the top of it. So this is going to be um, about 100 and 150 ml. Going to use. Just covering this bit. I think that's okay. Now the next once this dry, I put the butter 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 cap um, flowers on the top. I'm just going to leave that layer just like this because I do need this need a little bit more depth. So now I just use the heat gun for the bubbles. Tomorrow, the next layer will be done. So the next day, I am doing another layer. And what I'm doing, um, I'll do the butter buttercups at the top before I finish this one. So what I got, I have got this wild flower, that kind of like a burgundy color wine finish. And this is going on the top of that and I'm doing one layer and once this done the butternut uh, buttercups will go on the top of it and I'll probably do the uh, the same time I'll probably do um, my last layer 
of um, um, the butterfly I probably to put on the top and then it will be finished by the flooding cord on the top so I'm not sure how this go but that looks quite 3d now because I'm doing in layers so let me just put some resin so I got I have mixed like 200 because I'm doing something else as well and I'm using the same resin um, J Diction it's mixed and just going to pour it if I need to move those flowers well I have to <laughs> you see they're all moving now so yeah just doing like a hundred again enough I think it's got quite thick layer just in it but just right there put some more here yeah oh, those flowers I have dry in silica for three days but they are quite small flowers and they're pretty much dry so now I'm just going to move them and push it down in the resin. Seems all right. So I have gone like lengthwise. The bottom one is got longer than the second one, and then following this one, and butternut will be probably going all here as well. So. What I do, I'll, I'll put some resin on the top of those flowers just to, to cover with the resin. See, this is near, still need to go half way. So by the time I put the butterfly, it'll be covered. And resin. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave it now and let it dry. Just use the heat gun. If I have any bubbles, I can just go through. So we do the next step later on. Um, yeah, to, probably tomorrow. I'm doing it in the morning, maybe in tonight or something, because it will be set by that time, probably. <laughs> so the next day, I'm putting the buttercups flower there. They are actually pressed dry. They're from my garden, and yeah, this is all pressed dry, and, and you can see. So it looks. So 
I have just put on a bottom so as you can see the bottom this bit it's longer than this flowers are shorter than that that these are so shorter than this one and these are shorter than this flowers so I just put like lengthwise from uh, the back so what um the butterfly will come here I'll probably put two or three because I got a little space you can see there 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 so it will be in the next layer so first I'm going to do this one and then do the butterfly and the last layer on top yeah Actually, I changed my mind <laughs> and I'm going to put some uh, butterfly now and um, we'll um, and then um, I'll probably do one now and do one um, one or two later on um, before the top layer goes on because top layer will be after this anyway so I got this, this butterfly sticker which I am, oops, my goodness, God. So yeah, these are, what a mess I created, I always do that, all the time. So, yeah, putting one, so what I do, I'll put the small one on the bottom, so when, when it gets like a 3D look, when you get another layer on the top, a, it looks um, 3D. So do the small at the bottom. I don't know which one I'll go for, but I have got this many here. It's quite a lot of selection there. I'll do this one. Yeah, like that. So that one of these is going definitely. And have I got any small one? This one probably can go on top. Um, yeah, that can go on top and that can go on top. Probably I'll decide, but I definitely want this one. But I'm putting this one right now. Don't know how I can do this. Now, this one are the stickers I got from um, Amazon. I'm not, is it just a sticking one or I haven't got any clue to be honest but it's, what does it say? it's literally all written in Chinese so I don't know oh let's see try to get it out yeah it has got like a sticker at the back so what I got this one is going to stick So I'll stick this one just right on, just like this. I just want to do like a sideway. So I just got a little bit of my fingerprints. I'm just going to press it. If I can, yeah, I can get rid of the fingerprints. It's got at the back my fingerprints, but when you put press it. You just get rid of it. So that's how it looks. The butterfly is just right there. And now I'm going to pour resin. So I'm just pouring the resin. I have to move those once um because when I pour the resin I will move anyway. I haven't moved quite um so it's around hundred and fifty ml a bit more so I'm doing um I save this one for something else. So I 
Where is my toothpick? I'm not very really organized today, am I? Just losing all the bits and bobs what I normally have on the side. So this one, just push it down. Yeah, and I can make sure I just like I just want them at the right at the bottom. The stem. There's one big bubble there. Just add a little bit more. Just going to use the heat gun and then probably roll that again. Push it down this again. We keep coming up, but it doesn't really matter because I've got another layer coming on top, so. it and the next step will be two more butterflies will be going on there and hopefully the last layer will be done after that hello again so i decided to, to do the last layer but what i those flowers because they were um, buttercups they were so light the mood I didn't keep eyes on them so they gone a little bit further up so I have decided to put another flower on top this is the wild flower as well which is I'm going to put and I'm hoping it stays the position I put them in so I just um I just I don't want the little bit blend on on the bottom that's why I decided to do that way and I'll put one uh, um butterfly there as well that looks really nice it dried now i'm going for one bigger than this size so mix my resin but i'll, I'll just take my gloves off because i want to stick the butterfly first so which one shall i go for but i want to choose a little bit bigger than that one i got there maybe this one now that's too big for the size so this can go there tomorrow probably or shall i put it this one now maybe put this one now and leave that one for this probably i might put two one there one here i might go any smaller then this one because i really like how this is on a sideways instead of flat now oh, there's one more there what i do i put this one here just like going on like going on a flower and this one can stay there 
and that one I'll do it tomorrow when I do my last last layer and I'll be done so it's a bit difficult, a little bit difficult to get it out from the sticker because I know I struggled it yesterday to get it out A good job I have got some nails to do a deal with it. There we go. It's off now. But this one just going right there. And I'm just going to press with my nail. Stick out all so they can just stick properly and if I have any fingerprints come off. Oops, that's not stick properly. There's a little bit bubble there. Never mind. I just uh, just make sure this one stick. I'm just going to keep it. There's a tiny bubble left there, but it's all right. I'm not coming off. Come out, come on. I don't want it to stay there. And stick this one just right there. I'll probably go this way. See, it looks like it's going to the flower. So now I don't remember how many layers I've done so far. <laughs> Quite a lot on there. But it will, be look, it will look nice once it's used as um, um, the night lamp. So I'm planning to put on top of uh, the light, light stand. Okay, so put my gloves back on. I'll just I'll make sure the flowers I will need more resin as well because this one is quite um, off the resin and I do want them to cover just one more time just press this one if I can get rid of this bubble here it's very hard um, okay so so resin I'm using the same one J addiction resin and it's mixed I'm just pouring I have mixed uh, 100 ml but I'm going to add like 80 and I do another layer I think I'll do the last layer and then the flat coat that's all that's it and then I'm going to stop it probably get covered by that time the flowers the one So it's like 90 ml gone, another 90 ml. This one needed quite a lot of resin, doesn't it? This mold. It's quite deep, so. I'm hoping this doesn't know these flowers. It's got a bit disappointed with the other one. So they were quite flat. And when you don't have weight and you're floating on the top, they always move. It's partially my fault. I didn't keep eyes on them. Well, I 
think that'll be enough the hun last 100 ml and one butterfly because this one is still sticking out a little bit this flower this one as well so when the 100 ml will go will be all right and then the flood coat flood coat is going to be like thin coat anyway once i take it off i'll do the coat on the top i'm gonna put one more flower there because that looks a bit um plain to just blend there just a tiny one oh should i fit this one there yeah, I may be able to fit this one there. Push them down. Okay, yeah, this one is touching and doesn't look like they're moving, so it should be all right. Just push it at the bottom. That's it. Uh, I'm just going to use my heat gun. So these are totally covered now. And I'm just using the heat gun. So yeah, tomorrow definitely the last layer. Well, not second last because I'm doing the flood coat on the top of it, but I'm not filling all the way up. Probably do another a little bit more than 100 ml because those flowers are quite sticking up. So maybe just do a little bit more than 100. We we'll see how it goes anyway. Um, yeah, so do another one not tomorrow. So stay tuned till tomorrow so it has dry I'm not a bit happy about how I stick the stickers off the because you can it is slightly visible the plastic around it the border but never mind at least um, it doesn't look too bad to be honest it's it's if you look carefully it's visible if you look from the distance it's not so that's done i have mixed it um more resin than that to um 100 ml so i'll see how much i need to add because this one is quite sticking up and that i want to cover this time as well don't want to go another layer so yeah and i was i wanted to use this butterfly so first i'm going to stick the butterfly and then um i'll probably yeah i'll do the um lay uh, one layer and at the end it will be flood code which will be done um in um once i'm taking it off because so when you do in a mold it raise on side and leave the lips around the um, uh, edges so i'd like a little bit doming effect so if i do when i take it off from the mold and if i do the doming that way it will be won't be visible so this butterfly is going just right there 
I'm going to use my nail again to press it down. So resin I'm using same as what I've done, Jediction resin. And I'm just trying to remember how many layers I've done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this will going to be eight layers. So it's done in eight layers. So now I'm just going to put my gloves on and pull resin. So done now, I'm pouring resin. I uh, just want to make sure this all covered with the resin. Just to it a little bit more. So yeah, this one is a little bit sticking out, but what I'll do when I do my doming, it probably go well. Well, I'm just I can just hope for. There's a couple of glitches there which I need to take it off. That was from the from this container where I mix. That I saw. I'm pretty sure I saw it. <laughs> okay, so this one is not covered. This one tiny bit not covered. That oh, it's nearly covered. Big, big push there. Maybe just miss, just just a little bit pushing down. It will get covered when I do the dummy anyway. But it's not quite. Goodness me, I just dropped that one. Yeah, that's only tiny bit this one sticking off. Uh, should be alright. So what I do now, I'm just gonna use my heat gun. See you tomorrow when it demold how it looks. So thank you guys for watching and see you tomorrow. Okay, so as you can see how beautifully it's done. So I'm going to demold now. So so you can see how much gap I didn't fill up too much, just left that much gap and there'll be the thin layer of resin will go on top as well. So, this is how it looks. Beautiful, isn't it? You can see the sparkles. So I am going to do the thin layer on the top of it. You can see tiny leaf. It's not too much leaf either. Just a little bit. But I just want a doming effect. So I'm going to do the thin layer on the top. And those flower looks really nice. The 
the wild flowers and the fake butterflies. <laughs> Never mind, but we do that one. So I'm doing the last layer now. I mix the resin. I'm using the same resin as well to mix properly. So just doing the thin coat. Not going to add too much resin. Mm, looks okay. There's something there. Okay. Enough. I just want a doming effect, that's why I'm doing this. I'll just probably use the heat gun first and then. Just going to spread it up the end. So one side done. The side. Now checking under the light if I have missed any spot, it will be easily visible. Seems like I have color almost everything. 
There are some micro bubbles when we use the heat gun. Just checking back again under the light if I have any drip, um, any dust or anything. I can just get rid of. Well, it looks alright. So I'm just going to leave it and let it dry. So this is how it looks, and I'll show you then how it looks as well. Thank you for watching my video, and I see you in my next video. Bye for now.